Hi, this is Paul Tracy. This is the uh, second video showing what benefits you may gain by taking your uh, TurboCAD drawing into Google SketchUp. So here again we have a, uh, a shed, small house, walls, doors, produced in TurboCAD 17.2 and here we have a fountain which was produced using the 2D profile and the revolve tool, this one here. So the first thing we're going to do is file and uh, save as. I'm going to save it as a Collada file and you can see I've called it 3D Warehouse with TurboCAD and I've already saved it here. Uh, if I say save it, say just do I want to save it again so I don't really need to. And it's under Films uh, which I think is on my uh, network places on the desktop I should think. Films, yeah there it is, okay. So I can close that down now. I can open, uh, this is SketchUp Pro version 8. So get rid of the bird there first and then I'll import my drawing. Import and there it is. So I should be able to double click onto that and it won't take long thinks about it for a minute then it brings it in quite quickly normally there we go now there it is drag it over so it's we've got it central now if you've seen the first one you'll recognize the fact that if I try and change anything here so I use a push pull tool it won't let me do it and that's because when you bring them in they're groups and the first thing you have to do is to ungroup them so what you do is you right click on the object and you explode and that sometimes takes uh, uh, a minute or so you've got to think about it it just totally depends upon how complicated the uh, drawing is but you can see it's doing something because the cursor there is is flashing away so you just need to uh, talk amongst yourselves for a few seconds and um, suddenly out the blue quickly it'll go nowhere it gives you a bit of time to perhaps think about what you're going to do next there it goes so now the thing is exploded so what I'm going to do is to bring something objects in from the 3d warehouse so the f file 3d warehouse get models 3d warehouse is an open source people from all over the world create uh, models pictures and submit them to uh, to the warehouse where they get checked I presume and, and uh, then uh, if they seem to be okay then they're included anybody in the world can use them so if, let's just stick a do uh, guard dog outside the shed first so we just type in dog and go to search and it'll have a little sync and then we go now so it comes on series pages first 12 on this page you can see and then we've got pages and pages now you can see with dogs alone we've got 3537 so we won't waste time looking for the perfect dog we'll just take the first one that looks like a good good guard dog I don't think I'd want to go past it we've got the image here and the 3d view if we click onto the 3d view uh, we can uh, oops, sorry we can have a look around them if we want to and we say yeah okay that's fine download the model uh, load directly into SketchUp yes why not now you can see when we turn that around, that was a true 3D image. So as we go around the picture, we will sort of go around the back of him. We'll see the backs of him, the sides of him, whatever. And uh, here it comes. And where is it? There it is. So let's bring him around the front here. Stick him out the front of the house. Now some of these things wander about a bit in terms of plane. So I'm going to check that it's on the floor, which it is. It's fine. It's on the floor. There it is. Um, I think I'd want him looking out rather than looking that way so I'm going to choose the revolve the rotate tool rotate tool is quite straightforward I, there's my protractor I click there and I want to rotate it I'm going to rotate this around here that's that there you go put him there if I want to move him across a bit I hit M for move on the uh, and I'll just move him to the side there we go he's, he's fine He's a little, perhaps he's a little small for a guard dog, so perhaps we'll just make him a little bit bigger. S on the keyboard for scale. So select him, S on scale, and uh, 
let's make it a a real impressive guard dog. Right, okay, so no one's going to get through that dog. So it's as simple as that. Um, we can put a couple of other things in here. They're worth looking at. You know. If we go back to the warehouse, if we look for uh, 3D warehouse again, uh, get models. This time we'll, we'll go for a tree. Tree. Search. Now this time we've got 8,833 trees. All of them, you can change the size, edit them, all sorts of things. So again, we just go for the top left. We won't bother looking around. Again, that's a 3D tree, so we could spin it around if we liked. But we're just going to, we're not going to bother this one because we've seen how that works. This one's coming ugh, rather quicker than the other one. Now again, we stick the tree by the shed. Should be there now. Okay, it's there. I'm just going to spin this around a little bit. I'm going to deselect it and spin it around, make sure it's on the floor. Yeah, it is on the ground. And again, if I wanted to change the size, it'd be straightforward. S for scale, um, and there's various uh, handles here, which are not worth me going through how they work. They, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious really when you start. Okay. Now, if we wanted something, uh, I don't know, what else would we like? Perhaps we want a bird or something to fly across, or uh, um, let's try, uh, let's, let's just try something. Oops, sorry, I didn't know what I'm doing there. Let's try something a little, uh, a little odd, a bill, um, 3D warehouse. Let's see if we've got um, well, a dragon. Yeah, let's see if there's a dragon. Well, so you can see even quite sort of off the wall objects you'll find in there. And for dragons, look, we've even got 1,424 dragons in there. I should think my two ex-wives are there somewhere. Anyway, this time we won't choose that one because that's a 3D one, but we're going to choose this one and I'm going to show you in a second why. Because it's a slightly different type of image. When I look at a 3D view of this one and we try to spin it, you see we can see this one's, this one's flat. This one's not 3D like the other one. So I'll download the model. Yep, go straight in. And there it is. So I'll just put it up there. And... Um, Again, I'll, uh, I'll resize it, S on my keyboard, bring that down quite a lot smaller. Now, you'll notice you know, you know that that's just a 2D. Now, as I go around these things, you can see the dog and the tree. We're actually going around them. We're looking from different angles because they're in 3D. The dragon, however, is in 2D, but it's always facing you. So as we spin around, we go around a dog and a tree, we don't go round the dragon. The dragon's always looking straight at you, or side on as we are there. So that, will, that would substantially save memory space. It means if you were sending his attachments, all that sort of business, it wasn't taking up so much space, so it moved quicker. So we have three types of uh, 3D models here. We've got, um, I'm not necessarily in this picture, but there are, is a 3D model which means we can spin the thing around in any direction, but obviously that's quite juicy on the uh, on the memory. We have 2D models in the warehouse, which you, and you can see the dragon there, so that you it always looks towards you. So if it's a person, it's always looking towards you, but it's flat, you can't go around the back of it, but obviously that doesn't take anything like the amount of memory uh, that the 3D one takes. And then we've got a halfway house, which is a 2.5D model. Now, a two and a half D model is imagine it, a tree, all the leaves on the tree are actually, uh, there's lots of planes, lots of flat planes intersecting each other, loads and loads of them, but on each plane there's lots of leaves drawn. So the impression is that it's 3D as you, as you glance at it and look around it. It looks like it's 3D, but in actual fact it's not 3D. It just looks that way, you know, to, to the casual observer, I suppose which is good enough for, for most people most of the time. And of course the advantage is it doesn't use anything like uh, the amount of, of memory that a full, fully fledged 3D picture would use. So that's about it. That's, that's uh, using the 3D warehouse uh, in SketchUp. And you can save this file now. I'd save this now as a 3DS file and I could take that back into uh, TurboCAD. So this would be a 3D picture. 
I have no doubt. This 2D thing may be just a profile. But again, you know, the things go both ways. So I think I'll uh, I'll just end it there. Thank you.